Welcome to Corner Canyon Football here on Deseret News. Ryan, tonight the number one ranked Corner Canyon Chargers travel to Riverton to take on the 6A Silver Wolves here at Riverton High School. Chargers come into tonight's game fresh off of a 40-30 win over Pleasant Grove last week, improving their season record to 1-0. It wasn't pretty. The Chargers needed three fourth quarter TDs from John Mitchell to pull off the come from behind win. Meanwhile, Riverton over here survived in a nail biter against the former number one Sky Ridge Falcons. Both teams had to endure hour long lightning delays. So here we go. It's the Chargers and the Silver Wolves here on Deseret News Rewind. And we're underway here as Riverton looking to take it to the sideline out of bounds at about the 22. Now we'll get our first look at this Charger D up front. You've got Keenan Iono and Max Swenson as the two defensive ends, Van Fillinger and Jackson Light up the middle. And I think they're gonna be a huge key tonight as Riverton right off the bat runs the ball. Fillinger right there in the middle to fill up that gap. And it looks like it'll be a gain of maybe a yard. Silver Wolves 1-0 again as they beat Skyridge last week and the pass complete and it's going to be a Silver Wolf first down. Pass complete outside to number 14, Carter Miller, the junior wide receiver. And here's a run around the outside and met immediately there by number 23, Quinn Andra. And Chapman, the ball carry, able to pick up about four yards, it'll be second and six. And here's the handoff right up the middle and a little bit of room in there. Looks like they picked up maybe three yards and it'll bring up third and a long two depending on where the spot is. As there it is, the ball's on the turf and I think the Chargers have the football. And it, they do, it's recovered by number 91, Van Fillinger. It'll be Charger football. And that Charger D comes up with a big stop. And they start the game out right here as they force the early turnover here. And we'll take over at the 45. Here's Cole Hagen, who had a big week last week. And just overthrown John Mitchell, the intended receiver. Here's a swing pass, getting the ball to Mitchell again. Mitchell with room to run up the left side, and it will be a Charger first down. So Hagen to Mitchell, move the chains. It'll be Corner Canyon football, first and 10. 9.15 to go here in the first quarter. Here's Hagen around the left side, and Hagen with a little bit of room to run on the short side of the field, and it looks like he's going to pick up seven or eight yards. Here's Hagen looking to tuck the ball and run. He's got a little room outside over the 20 and then out of bounds at the 18. Welcome back after the timeout. Hagen in the shotgun looking down the left side and he underthrows it. The ball is picked off and Riverton running it back and credit the Riverton defense with the turnover as Hagen turned and threw it up and it's intercepted, so out of the timeout. Here's Coggins in the shotgun. Riverton with their second possession of the night. And ooh, that one. Pass was intended for number 24, Peyton Tafoya. Nice job by the Charger, D forcing the sacks. I, I see Max Swenson in the mix. But I think Van Fillinger is the one that will be credited with the sack. Nice job by Fillinger. And here's a quick pass outside. And I don't know if are they going to call that complete because it looked like he dropped it. But either way, it's going to be short of the first. And then you'll also see JT Cotrer come in from time to time. The five of them will get most of the duties at wide receiver. And then in the backfield, Austin Bell, the sophomore, as Riverton comes through the line and they take Hagen down hard and the referee brings the ball back to the 21 so it's just a four yard loss. Here's Hagen and nice pass across the middle picking up some of that yardage back is Austin Bell the sophomore running back. Six and a half to go here in the first here's Hagen. Hagen finds Mitchell and Mitchell with a little bit of room to run, but he is going to be well short of the first as 
Riverton will be forced, or excuse me, Corner Cannon will be forced to punt the football. Coggins with the handoff right up the middle, and it looks like it'll be a short gain of maybe two. Of course, over at Corner Canyon, we had a light lightning delay as well. And then when they came out, it was a great play on defense there by the Charger line, and Van Fillinger once again right there in the middle of things. They actually had two defensive touchdowns and then a third interception that was returned to about the three-yard line. So really all three of their touchdowns were defensive-led as Coggins passes incomplete. So here's Hagen again, and this time handing it off, or no, keeping it. He looked like he was going to hand it off to Bell. Hagen up with about a 16-yard gain up over the 40-yard line. Thought the Charger offense looked pretty good last week, and I expect that once they get in sync that they should be able to put up some points this week. As Austin Bell takes it out of the backfield, nice little juke. And Austin Bell able to bring the ball up near midfield, at least from the backfield perspective. Hagen still had 55 yards himself. And right as I say that, a beautiful run by Austin Bell. That'll be a Charger first down. Here's Hagen on the option, and Bell with a lot of room to run up that left side. And a pickup of about eight yards. Great call. Here's Bell again. Look at that hole. Wow. That Charger offensive line, Jackson Light, Ammon Gleason, Jonah Strong on that right side this time. Here's a flip pass to John Mitchell. He's got blockers. And up the left side, he's got room to run. It'll be another first down. A great wall of blockers for the Chargers as they hit him on the screen pass. And then Mitchell taking the ball right back up the middle behind about five or six blockers. High snap, Hagen handles it. Looking down the left side, and the ball just drifted out of bounds intended for JT Cotrer. And here's Hagen keeping it around the left side. And Hagen will be knocked out of bounds at about the eight yard line. So the Chargers moving the football. There's another seven yards. The concern tonight, and I figured they'd improve greatly, was the defensive side, and so far they've been great on defense. As now Hagen takes it around the right side and tries to tuck back in, and ooh, that kind of a weird cut back on his knee, but able to get down to about the six yard line. And I wouldn't be surprised if they took it right up the middle here. And that's what they do. The Charger line creates the hole and it'll be a first down. That's exactly what I expected they do. The way they're moving the football behind this offensive line right now. Now here's Hagen keeping the ball, and he is, I believe, into the end zone. Mitchell signaling touchdown. And finally, the official does signal touchdown. Cole Hagen puts the Chargers on the board, and it is six to nothing. Here's Coggins in the shotgun. And a run up the middle and then cuts it outside. Nice run. And now bouncing outside, that should be a first down for Riverton. And on the run is number 11. Welcome back, Corner Canyon football here to start the second quarter. Chargers seven, Silver Wolves zero as Riverton hands it off. And what a play on defense. No gain, nothing doing up the middle right there. And oh boy. My goodness, did you see John Scheffner coming? He absolutely killed the receiver. <laughs> and Scheffner was looking to actually intercept the football and didn't get there in time, so he actually laid a solid hit on number 88 for Riverton. Big third down here for Riverton. Here's Coggins on the rollout, and that ball way out of bounds intended for number 23. Welcome back, Chargers in the shotgun. That was a really short break as pass intended for Noah Care, excuse me, Noah Care. Here's Hagen under pressure and he's gonna be brought down at the 35 yard line. Now this is a big third down play as Hagen in the shotgun looking downfield and oh, just over the outstretched hands of John Mitchell. Chargers have tried to go down to Mitchell a couple of times, but Hagen just barely overthrew him. Oh, nice catch. 
That ball looked like it was going to be just a little bit too far out, but what a beautiful catch by It's actually uh, number 14, Carter Miller. Here's Coggins with the handoff up the middle. Room to run and into the secondary. Finally brought down by John Scheffner, but that will be a Riverton first down, and that's Riverton's biggest offensive gain of the football game. As Coggins looks to the left side, and has a man, but it's incomplete. And well defended by number 23, Quinn Andra. Second and 10. Here's Coggins, and he'll keep it. And immediately met by number 55, oh, Kenan Iono. And look at the Charger defense. Three or four guys in on the play. Van Fillinger, Jackson Light, and Kenan Iono. As here's the handoff to Bell, and Bell able to pick up maybe three yards. Ball carried by number 10, Austin Bell. But they have successfully been able to get Mitchell the screen pass. And right on cue, guess who? Noah Kerr. Actually, my mistake, that's Gabe Mayers. You know, it's partly cloudy tonight. We had a little bit of rain threat earlier, and it's cleared up, and now the sun kind of sticking right in our face as Chargers try to go to Mayers again. And now here's Hagen, and he's going to dump it off. Bell catches it, eludes one tackle, and then brought down quickly by number 25. Good defense there by Hayden Easterly. So I'll see what the Chargers do here. They got three to the right, wide receivers, one to the left. Mares on the left side. And Hagen under pressure now going to unload. He's Oh, he underthrows, but John Mitchell comes back to make the catch. Mitchell plows the tackler over, and he's down to the 32-yard line, or 33. So what a play by Cole Hagen. He was, it looked like he was going to be sacked. He eluded the tackler, and then he just threw up the ball, and the ball was severely underthrown. But John Mitchell, recognizing that he was under pressure, was able to come back to the football. And here we go. Three wide receivers to the left. Here's Bell up the middle, and he's fighting for every yard he can get, and I think if he was lucky, he was able to pick up maybe one. Here's the ball outside to Noah Kerr, and he will pick up the first down at about the 20-yard line. Nice job. The Chargers finally able to get the ball to Noah Kerr. Looks like we may have a hold in the backfield as the ball thrown downfield. Trying to see what happened. They threw the flag back here behind Cole Hagen. And that's exactly what it's going to be, a holding call on Corner Canyon. You can see that sun now coming across the field. It's about to go behind the mountain. As Hagen looks downfield, he's got Mitchell wide open. It's a Charger touchdown. John Mitchell able to free himself down. And Cole Hagen found him. It's the, another touchdown for Mitchell and his fifth on the season. As they've shut out Riverton here with five minutes to go, and the ball tipped up and intercepted by Josh Wilson. Wilson still on his feet, and Wilson finally brought down at the 27-yard line. The Chargers come up as we're talking about their D improving, and Josh Wilson with his second interception of the season, and it'll be Charger football on the 26-yard line. As we are at the 4.55 mark here in the first half, Corner Canyon 14, Riverton 0. Here's Hagen looking deep to the right side. He's got Mitchell in the corner of the end zone, and Mitchell almost comes up with it, trying to bring it in with his right arm. As Hagen now looking to get it to Noah Kerr, and Kerr able to bring it up over the 25 for a short gain. It'll be third down. Third and six here for the Chargers. Here's Hagen. Hagen looking to the left side, lobs it up, has a man, and it's brought in. That's a touchdown, Chargers. And I think it was trying to see who caught the ball. So they're saying the touchdown was caught by Handley, the sophomore, in the corner of the end zone. Ball was just lobbed up there, and you can see now Handley running off the field. So... Talmadge TD Handley with his first touchdown of the season. Nice job. Here's Coggins looking down the left sideline. And Andra on the coverage. I think they're going to call pass interference, but 
Uh, the pass was complete, so Andra on the coverage. Riverton trying to get something positive before they go into the locker room. Corner Canyon will receive the second half kickoff as Fillinger, so Van Fillinger put the pressure on Coggins and then on the outside, great coverage by Cooge. Second 10. Here's a run up the middle and uh-uh, not against this Charger D tonight. Josh Wilson, or actually no, that's Cade McDougal. Cade McDougal was able to come in and make the tackle. You can see Cade right there celebrating number 24. And here's Coggins airing it out, well defended and covered. And the ball knocked down. John Schefter was all over the coverage. So I didn't think that thing had a prayer. Andrew McDonald was also in on the coverage. As here's Bell with not a lot of room to run. He's trying to fight for everything he can get. And after all of that, I don't think they got anything out of it. I think it's going to be second and 10. So down to 2.22 to go in the first half. Here's Hagen in his own end zone looking deep, and he's got Mitchell. Mitchell goes up and hauls it in just over midfield. What a great catch by John Mitchell, and credit the Chargers for being aggressive as Cole Hagen was actually in his own end zone when he threw that football, and Mitchell caught it at about midfield, so about a 50-yard pass in the air. You know, Cole Hagen, 3-0 as a starter. He started two games last year. And of course, last week against Pleasant Grove, so 3-0, and he's a junior, and he's a good-looking quarterback. Chargers have a bright future as he hits Noah Kerr across the middle, and Kerr able to pick up about 30 yards. So we start talking about Cole Hagen, and Noah Kerr was wide open. As now Hagen gonna look to take the snap, and there's the run I was, oh, and he breaks free, Bell, up the middle, touchdown. I thought they would run it just to kind of kill some time. But my goodness, Austin Bell takes it up the gut, and the Chargers strike again. It is now 27 to nothing. And you know, it figures when the announcer says that, that I jinxed him, so my apologies. The point after no good, first quarter. Here's Coggins, has a man wide open, but just barely overthrew him. Andra on the coverage. Second and 10, here's Coggins out of the shotgun again. This time a quick pass. <laughs> I'll tell you, McDougal let it go right through his hands. You see him kind of come down and look at his hands. Here's Coggins again in the shotgun. This time looking to the left side and pass dropped by the wide receiver. And even if he had caught it, there was four chargers right there. Here's Hagen on the rollout to the right and throws it up, pass incomplete. That one intended for number 26, Talmadge Hanley. So Cole Hagen off to a great start here in 2018. Has another couple of touchdowns here tonight. And this time he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. And Gabe Mares and John Mitchell were deep downfield. Third down and 16. Here's Hagen in the shotgun. And he's just going to hand it off to Bell. Bell with a great run of about 10 yards, and that's the way the half will end as we'll let the clock run out, and that will do it. As now the Chargers will take over first and 10 at their own 15. Here's Hagen, and Hagen looking downfield to Mitchell. Mitchell goes up and makes the catch as Mitchell using his size going up against number 20, Dylan Simons. Of course, Mitchell played on the state semi or state runner-up last year in basketball. Chargers making it to the state championship. As Bell up the middle has room to run, and Bell cutting it back outside, and he's still on his feet down to about the 11-yard line. What a great effort by Austin Bell, and a great sign for Corner Cannon as they've had a good run game tonight. Austin Bell, that I think that's his career long. Here's Hagen looking the right side, has a man in the corner, and that could be pass interference. John Mitchell tried to come back to the football. The defender did not look back. This would be a good spot for a draw or a quick one over the middle of the Noah Kerr. As they throw it outside incomplete, trying to go to Mitchell again. I think I'd try to find Noah Kerr right here. Here's Hagen again under pressure. And this time, getting rid of the football, completing it to Austin Bell. 
Short gain, Austin Bell down at the six yard line. Wouldn't be a bad idea to throw a fade route here to Noah Kerr in the corner of the end zone. Although they're looking across the middle and he overthrew that. He, that was Noah Kerr, sorry, Gabe Mares was at the top and that was Noah Kerr across the middle. And it looks like right now, initially it looks like the Chargers will go for it here. Fourth and goal at the six yard line. Here's Hagen looking right again, and he tried to flip it over to John Mitchell. Ball got knocked up in the air, and it'll be turnover on downs. It'll be Riverton football. And really, for now three straight quarters have looked great as they've shut out the opponent, and right off the bat, oh, actually a fumble on the play. It's going to be Charger football. He went up the middle, lost the football, and the Chargers came away with it. What an unbelievable break. Third quarter. Hagan looking again to the right side, and wide open is Noah Kerr. Touchdown, Chargers. And I'll tell you, what a what, what an unfortunate swing of events if you're a Riverton fan because they actually had a nice bright spot uh, holding Corner Canyon but then giving the ball right back. And Corner Canyon wastes no time. Noah Kerr with his first touchdown of the season had their yet another turnover. They have three turnovers tonight. Good job by Casey Cetera and the Charger defense. As you can see, the Riverton just, they just can't move the football. Makes it very, very tough. Second down and 10 after no gain. Here's Coggins with a quick pass to the right and immediately met by number two, John Scheffner. So this time they've got three wide receivers at the bottom of your screen, one at the top. And here's Coggins in the shotgun again. This time under pressure, we're going to have a hold in the backfield. And Coggins chucks it up way out of bounds. And, well, we're going to have a hold back in the backfield. And I can't believe they're going to call pass interference. The football was five yards out of bounds. And we'll replay the down third and seven. Here's Coggins again looking quick to the left. And here come the Charger defense in pursuit. And a nice play there by number 21, Andrew McDonald. And it'll be another fourth down. Riverton going to have to punt. Well, here's two wide receivers, top and bottom. Here's Hagan in the shotgun. And Hagan looking to dump it off quick. He's got Noah Kerr. Kerr with room to run. Kerr outside. And Kerr across the 45-yard line. That'll be about a 17-yard gain. And it, it, it's kind of like they're just barely breaking a sweat. Oh, what a great effort as Austin Bell was going to be tackled for a loss and then able to spin out of it. And he, what did he pick up, four yards there? Second and five right at midfield. Here's Hagen. He's going to keep it and be dropped maybe a half a yard gain just over midfield. It'll be third down and four. The ball's been spread around pretty evenly tonight as different guys have contributed. As now Austin Bell again with another big run, 15 yard pickup, and yet another Charger first down. Corner Canyon, first and 10 at the 35. Six and a half minutes to go here in the third. And here's Kerr, oh he took, he started to run before he caught it. And so you haven't seen him playing for a little bit as Bell takes the handoff and fights again for two yards. What looked like another loss, he's able to pick up two. It'll be third down and eight. Just right there on your screen, the bottom three receivers and then the backfield two guys all have touchdowns tonight. Here's Noah Kerr, and that'll be a Charger first down. Kerr in his dangerous, dangerous spot. He's a possession receiver. Welcome back to Corner Canyon football here on Deseret News. Rewind out of the timeout. Corner Canyon now with just one left in the third quarter in the second half. Here's Hagen looking down the left side. He's got a man, and just off the finger trips, fingertips, of JT Cotrera, it'll be second 10. A lot of people around the state were interested and I wasn't particularly myself. As here's Noah Kerr out in the flat and Kerr able to run it down to about the 12 yard line. As that one gonna be thrown way out of the end zone intended for Mitchell. Help them win that game 40 to 30. And again, we talked about the Charger D shutting them out. As here's an easy pass and catch across the middle Touchdown, Noah Kerr, and it is now 40 to nothing.
So here's Riverton. Nothing up the middle. It'll be second down and 11. Looked like Cade Carlson and others in on the tackle. Under three minutes to go here in the third. And that pass hit John Scheffner right on the number two of his back. This is a game on the schedule that I personally enjoy because of my relationships with people at Riverton. Well, Van Fillinger doesn't really care about that. He's still playing football. So it's good catching up with those guys as here is Bell again. Big hole up the left side. And Bell still on his feet, able to get close to that first down marker. And it was a first down. So here's Hagen under pressure. And with those quick legs, able to get outside. And he's just going to run out of bounds. I, a lot of running, and I think a gain of zero. <laughs> Welcome back to Riverton High School here for the start of the fourth quarter. The clock is already running. And here the first play of the fourth. Corner Canyon up 41-0. Low snap. Here's Jepson with a short pass out to the right side. Pass complete. And I think that was Noah Kerr on the catch that they should be the number one team in 5A, at least based on this point in time of the season. And off goes to number 10, Brady. Here's Coggins again looking downfield, and Scheffner, the only one near it, while Cahoon was running over too. So third and seven, we're down almost to the nine-minute mark here in the ballgame on the running clock, even though it was incomplete. And Coggins under pressure, and he is brought down by Kanan Johnson, Cooge with the sack. Cody, the younger brother of Cole, he's looks like he's in at wide receiver, the freshman. Cody's also a quarterback as the Chargers fumble in the backfield. I mean, there's been some mass changes. I'm just trying to keep up, but as I've been talking, the clock's been running. We're down to seven minutes. Here's Glavin breaking a big one. Glavin still on his feet, crosses the 40, down to the 30, and finally brought down at the 24-yard line. What a great run. And here's a dump off Glavin on the receiving end. Here he goes with room to run. He's got the first down and more, and into the, well, is in, into the, inside the 10. It's going to be first and goal. What a great play by Corner Canyon. And they do, a little pitch out. Glavin around the right side and down to about the five yard line. And here's another run up the middle. Jepson keeping it this time. So he faked it to Glavin, kept it and dropped pretty much at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and goal. Here's Glavin around the right side and he picked up about two. I don't know what they call their field, but it's probably Thunder related. As Jepson just takes the snap and gets thrown down, and that will be the end of Corner Canyon offense. Actually, no, I don't. And wouldn't you know it, Riverton trying to throw it over the top. I also see out there number 29. As Riverton fumbles the snap, and Tyson Doyle coming in from that weak side. And after the miscue, it'll be third and 16. 30 seconds to go in the ball game. This could be the last play. And Riverton throwing it deep and way out of bounds. But that's the way the game's going to end here from Riverton High School. Final score, the Chargers in impressive fashion. Coming on the road with a huge win. Final score, Corner Canyon 41, Riverton 0. We'll catch you next Friday night down at Westlake. Until then, good night.